please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Hello and welcome to your stocks. I'm Nigel D'Souza. With me is Sumera Abidi. And as we speak, we're seeing a bit of a recovery, Sumera, from the low point of the day. We're thanking God for small mercies nowadays. In <laughs> fact, from the lows, we've recovered only around 25 points. But we'll take that with both hands. Maybe, in fact, a fight for 10,200. The bulls will be happy because at one point of time, we even breached the 10,100. And 70 odd mark. Also, keep an eye out on the Dow futures. Well, that's recovered as well. It was down close around 400, 410 points. That is now indicating a cut of around 250 points. So the final 90 minutes are going to be extremely crucial. Nonetheless, breadth of the market, not good at all. Only 287 stocks advancing on the NSE that compares with close around 1,800 stocks that are declining. Crisscross lines come up for you on the screen. Hey, Sumera. Hi, Nigel. Uh, good afternoon to you as well. So let's get started then. These are our top stories. Global weakness hits the Lal Street, but key indices come off the day as low mid caps take a bigger knock today with the index now down close to a percent. And Asian markets and European markets, they are lower as trade fears return after White House Chief e Economic Advisor Gary Cohn's resignation. Banking space reels under pressure yet again with Nifty PSU Bank down over 3% uh, while the Nifty Bank loses nearly a percent. Credit Suisse report says that large treasury losses of about 20,000 crore rupees are likely in the fourth quarter. And uh, the TDP looks uh, at the option of withdrawing from the NDA after they remain unconvinced by the government's assurances on the special status for Andhra Pradesh. Sources tell CNBC TV 18 that Chandra Babu Naidu will take a decision on the alliance in Amravati. Okay, all right, keep an eye out on the markets. Well, we're still holding closer towards uh, the 10,200 mark. In fact, we're just holding above that level. So good going, at least we're seeing a bit of a recovery as we speak ITC. That's the heavyweight in there. That's putting in a bit of a fight over there. So um, keep an eye out on that stock. In an otherwise weakish market, that stock's moving high. And in fact, it's holding one end up. Also pull up Bajaj Auto. That's putting in a bit of a fight as well. So good to see. At least 10,200 uh, is here today. We're keeping an eye out on the 200 DMA. That comes in at 10,127 odd. But uh, let's get in our guests and let's get to our first query. Then we have Shaina Mukadam as well as Sandeep Wagle. Both of them join us uh, to help us out with our queries. Um, Hi, Shaina. Hi, Sandeep. Thanks so much for joining in uh, this afternoon. Well, we have our first caller. Mr. Mahindra Gupta calls us from Jaipur. He has investments, I believe, in Ash Ashok Leland. Uh, hi, Mr. Gupta. Hello. Hello. Yes, Mr. Good, Gupta. Good how can we help sir. you, sir? Good afternoon. Uh, what is your query? How can we help you? Sir, I have Ashok Leland for 6 years ago. Yes. And uh, 103 rupees per lead first. Okay. So, do I have to hold it or leave it? Okay, alright, sir. Congratulations. You're making a lot of money. So, uh, let's uh, go across to uh, Shaina. Shaina, uh, your take on Ashok Leland, 103 rupees is the buy price. One would have thought, well, it's, uh, you know, bought it after the stock has doubled and tripled. But uh, making good money, more than 50,000 rupees uh, is what uh, Mr. Gupta is making. Your advice from here? I would suggest he continues holding the stock uh, because Mr. Gupta, I have shared this share and I have also kept it. I think uh, going forward, uh, se, I think the business is going to do better. Just as the CV cycle turns, I think that Ashok Leland will benefit hoga, both in the replacement market as well as in OEMs. Mein jo, uh, revenues aate hai, usme se. I think uh, continue hold. I have seen the upside of 155 ka target dekhti hu, over the next couple of years. Uh, Shorter, shorter term. In fact, three to six months. Or if you want to leave, then put a stop loss. 130 ka stop loss. Yeah, in fact, uh, you know, we just spoke with the management of Ashok Leyland yesterday, and they were quite bullish. In fact, uh, expecting a growth of about what 10, 15 yes. percent for the industry, and very, very optimistic on the back of that new vehicle scrappage policy, of which Ashok Leyland will be a big beneficiary. But Sandeep, uh, coming to you on the technicals, uh, the, I think almost everyone seems very, very pleased with the charts. Absolutely, Sumira. I recommend a stop loss of 130. 130 is a very crucial level. It has been able to hold above that. And even in this falling market, this is one stock which is holding. So that is very positive for the stock. 
and talk of the next uh, target over the next 12 to 15 months i would uh, look at a target of around 165 hi to mr gupta aap uh, filhal bane rahe hain ashok leyland mein uh, aisa lag raha hai ki aage chal ke bhi uh, uh, jo uh, stock ka chalan hai jo company ka chalan hai wo kafi strong momentum uh, dekhne ko milega up next uh, we have a query and this time on the sugar space so these are a set of investors that have been hurting and ravindra kumar uh, one of them writes into us from vishakhapatnam he says he holds 4000 shares of dwarke sugar which he has bought at 50 rupees for about uh, two months ago he's a long term investor and wants to know what he should do well he's seen his investment uh, actually half he's making a loss of over 80000 rupees at the moment uh, you know I, i i don't know what any fundamental expert can say on the sugar space because it's been so dicey yeah. isma is going to revise their production targets upwards as well uh, but sandeep uh, statistically speaking uh, i mean dwarike so you pick anything from the sugar space um, good point to exit now cut your losses and perhaps look for opportunities elsewhere well sumera yes uh, this bounce back that we are witnessing in this space have been very very weak and feeble i think maybe now maybe on a bounce 34 to 36 i would say it would be lucky if he gets that he should exit and on the downside i think below 25 the stock can feel still go down further so exit whether now or on a bounce that is his call okay all right uh, so that's the view coming in on dwarke sugar well we'll slip into a short break before we do that we were looking at 10200 just a short while back just take a look at what's happening that's the kind of selling pressure we've been seeing over the last few days and that's really worrying 20 points very very quickly we've given off indusind bank is a stock that's uh, that's suddenly taken a bit of a knock and a couple of these heavyweight stocks reliance industries and icici bank both of them have seen a bit of a downtick just take a look at that indusind bank was holding one end up that's moved lower reliance industries now below 900 rupees so that as well as taken a bit of a knock and icici bank as well has taken a bit of a leg down so you know any kind of bounce is being sold into now we've given up 25 points in less than 5 minutes just take a look at the intraday chart sharp down tick over there even the nifty bank is now down roughly around 300 points so keep an eye out uh, on that market as well slip into a short break come back keep one eye out on the markets and also answer all your queries Welcome back. Uh, well, it uh, seems like the market is, uh, 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 you know, slipped back into uh, pretty much the lows. Uh, so it's about 230 points now on the Sensex, uh, gone 80 points down on the Nifty. So we're back at that 10,170 odd mark, and the mid-cap index down about a percent and a half. So naturally, a lot of investors are a worried lot, and one of them, in fact, uh, joins us now on the show. Our Prabhu calls in from Tamil Nadu with a query on Giant Agro. Hi. Hi sir, how can we help you? Yeah, hi, very good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, I'm holding uh, Giant Agro at the rate of five and six for the past six months. Okay. Uh, I'm a long-term investor, so should I accumulate more now or should I lose my? Uh, um, should I lose uh, my loss? I I get your point, Mr. Prabhu. Just wanted to check. Uh, do you have a portfolio of other stocks? I mean, any particular reason that you chose Giant Agro? uh this is uh, you know uh, i get this uh, suggestion from my from broker so uh, that's why i have uh, bought this okay uh shaina let me come to you first on this i mean uh, you know this stock doesn't have a lot of volume actually so thinly traded stock uh but uh, it's not done much actually this year uh, would you advise uh, that mr prabhu remain invested in the hope that uh, he can cover up his losses Yeah I think he should because uh, the numbers are improving uh, quite well and if we saw the last quarter they have shown a very good improvement in overall uh, sales and I think uh, with the export business picking up uh, they are into shrimp exports or the agro exports I think uh, this should be this should do better going forward and even if you look on valuations on a EV to EBITDA basis it's about 13 times which in my view is not expensive so I would continue holding on I would keep a target of uh, around 400 rupees and do keep a stop loss of around uh, 330 
Okay, target of around 400, stop loss at 330, but the markets are calling for our attention yet again. Suddenly, we've moved to the low point of the day. A whole host of stocks are selling off. Just take a look at Dr. Reddy's. That stock has moved lower, but the Nifty moves lower when a couple of heavyweight stocks, they get a bit of a knock. So let's pull up, uh, you know, some of these heavyweight stocks. Pull up the Nifty Bank, actually. That's down 350 points, and it's fallen very, very rapidly. ICICI Bank, as well as Axis Bank, they have taken a hard knock in the last few minutes. Even Axis Bank has moved to the low point of the day. And SBI. So you pull up all those three banking stocks, they have moved lower. The mid cap index, as it is, the breadth of the market wasn't great. It's getting even worse as we speak. Not looking good at all. Just take a look at that. We moved around 10,160 odd. At the start of the show, we were flirting with 10,200 and we were wondering whether you know, there was a bit of a recovery on the cards. Clearly, that's not happening as we speak. Um, so we'll keep an eye out on the markets for the time being. Slip into a short break, come back. We'll continue our focus on the markets. Stay with us. Welcome back then. Keep an eye out on Bharti Airtel. The stock was down 4.5%. It's recovered a goodish bit from the low point of today. So keep an eye out uh, on that one as well. Just take a look at that. Smart recovery is what we've seen, at least from the day's low. But uh, our next uh, query is already with us. Mr. Shanmugam, he writes to us from Kerala. He holds around 500 shares of United Beauties at around 846, uh, uh, 849 rupees for the last nine months. Medium term investor wants to know whether or not to hold or sell. Um, Sandeep, uh, what's your take on this one? Making good money, more than a lakh, uh, hang on to the beer or you think, um, you know, book out? I think maybe part of the booking of some profits, part profits you can book and hold with a stop loss of 990. On the upside, I see some more upside once the market revives or on a bounce back some higher levels. Talk of the next three to four months since he is a medium term investor, I see levels of 1130, 1140. So he could partly book and keep the balance stop loss of 990 for a target of 1130. All right. Uh, well, that's the advice on United Breweries. Remain invested for now. Quick break. Uh, come back and focus on lots more stock queries. Stay with us. Welcome back then. The markets are struggling. Yes, we're virtually at the low point of the day, but I'm searching for some green and VST Tillers comes up uh, on the screen. So you pull up the intraday chart, volumes are picking up over there and it's done quite well. You'll say, well, the last few months haven't been good for the markets. Take a look at something like a VST Tillers and Tractors. The stock has given you 30% returns in the last six months. It's been a slow mover. I remember for the previous three years, it didn't move at all from around that 1900 odd mark. Now, in fact, the street is taking note of VST Tillers everyone spoke about. Now the Tractors, you know, that's being noticed and we have seen growth of them and the management on our channel itself they're looking at around 14,000 units for uh, the coming year that's FY19 so you, they should do only around 9,000 units this year they should wind up with around 11,000 units I'm talking about tractors and next year it could look like around 14,000 and that stock in fact even in today's trading session an otherwise dull market looking quite good the stock is spiked up intraday chart as well should come up for you on the screen well, we have Jaideep who writes to us from Gujarat. He holds around 700 shares of NBCC at a price of around 276 since the last one year. Long-term investor wants to know whether or not to hold or to sell. Shaina, coming across to you. Well, NBCC at one point of time, everyone wanted to get in. Unfortunately, uh, the query that we've received, you know, they as well have gotten at a very high price. What would your advice be, Shaina? Yeah, actually, the expectations are very high from NBCC because if you see the order book position, they've already got something like 80 crores of orders. And with the support of the government, I think uh, they're talking of order book addition of almost about 30,000 odd crores over the next one odd year. But uh, the, the disappointment is coming from the numbers. If you saw the last quarter numbers, the numbers have really been disappointing. Uh, it's almost flat to negative on almost all fronts. So to that extent, I think one really has to be, um, and you know, 
and really has to have faith and continue holding. I think this is one stock in the space of uh, real estate development that is likely to do uh, good over the medium to longer term, given that there are a lot of projects for redevelopment that will come, back, come up, especially in the government space. So I think you, one needs to hold on if you're a long-term investor. Uh, the chart looks a little bit weak, weak for the shorter term in my view. All right, so that's the word on NBCC. Remain invested in the target that China has is at 220. Up next, Jay Krishna writes in to us from Hyderabad. He says he holds 2,000 shares of Adani Power Ouch at 47.35. He's been holding on for about two months. He's a short-term investor and wants to know what to do. So two months, a nearly 40,000 uh, rupee loss. Uh, Sandeep, any words of advice? Uh, sell is the advice, maybe now, maybe on a bounce, possible that he may get a level of 30-32 as a bounce, but that could only be a bounce and he needs to be exiting the stock. On the downside, were the stock to break 25, it can go down to 20 or below 20 very fast, so that should be the stop loss. Okay, all right. Uh, thanks so much for that, uh, Sandeep, as well as Shaina. Thanks for joining in today and uh, answering all our queries. But on that note, we'll have to wrap up on the show. You do remember to keep sending us your queries by posting it on our Money Control message board. You stay with us. Closing Bell comes up next.